Hi, I'm Suzanne. I'm the third quarter of a millionaire winner on Deal or No Deal, but I'm also the biggest winner because I won a week to Florida. Suzanne! I didn't want to be late today because I was really uncomfortable in these clothes and I thought, oh God, I look like the bride of Chucky. Um, Good, to meet you. And even better to meet you, lovely cheeky chaps. Even though you're here for a short time, it is the most amazing journey in a room with 21 fantastic people and it's the highlight of it all, meeting them. And I would still speak so highly of it if I had come away with a penny. I'm really decisive and know what I want and will get it. I wouldn't say that I'm a gambler. Gambler. If I didn't have a, such a strong board as what I had, there was no way that I would have went on. But I can be a lot more ruthless. Can you? Oh yeah, He's over, and we're just scratching the surface now. Fantastic. <laughs> you could be one of our wealthiest players ever. Well I had what did I have? I had five pound, thirty-five, fifty, a hundred, and two hundred and fifty. And so I am. Um, I, I actually thought I thought it was going to be more, and I think if it had have been more, I would have been tempted. You, that would have been mm. the only time that would have tempted. It was maybe double that. That might have tempted you. Mm. Suzanne, thirty thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah! <laughs> 110,000. When he said 110, I said 50 grand is more than five years' work for me with no expenses. And yet that's why I was urged to go on because that is colossal, absolutely huge. Um, I've never said this before. To stop you becoming number three, he is offering you. One hundred and sixty-five thousand pounds. The one six five is definitely tempting, but again, hundred thousand. Yeah, and I just thought, I knew I didn't bring it because I only ever had it once, and I thought, okay, twenty-one, let's let's roll with it and let's swap. I had nothing to lose at the end of the day. Swap, or no swap. Swap. I don't know how long she did take over the swap, but it couldn't have been any more than 30 seconds to yeah. decide. And I think it was just gut that told me, do it. Suzanne, Simon. Good luck. You're an extraordinary young lady, and I really hope ahead of your wedding. I hope the confetti comes first. You told your parents that you'll win? No. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to say it um, either because, number one, I don't think they'd believe me. I'm, I'm going to look forward to it because we had said anyways that we'll go home for when it's on and I'm going to love when we're having a deal or no deal party in the sitting room. And they all think I've won a thousand pound, and then it all comes out. I can't wait for that. So I'm going to love that surprise of element and be like, yeah. ha, you said I couldn't do it, and check me out. <laughs> <laughs>